Hello and welcome back to more Legacy Cube Draft. Been really enjoying this cube uh, lately. And what do we have here? We have... Oh, I really want to just first pick this Phyrexian Obliterator and go to town. Uh, that's a terrible idea. Um, first picking very narrow cards is not a good idea. And even like, this card is great, right? It at least historically was good. But like, in this pack alone, there are three cards that just deal with it. Like, imagine you draft Phyrexian Obliterator. You go through all this work. You... you get four black mana, you're mono black, you have a four mana five five, and then your opponent just plays Teferi, bounces your Phyrexian Obliterator, draws a card, and then they oust it on your draw step, and then like... <laughs> this is why this card is so ridiculous, like... And I get a lot of people who are like, say like, Caleb, you complained about these cards, you think like they're bad or whatever, and then you take them. And I want to make the distinction, this card is fantastic, right? If you're trying to win, this card is insane. What, what I'm saying about these card designs is that they just make so many other things obsolete. And they're just not like... I don't think they're fun to have in Magic in general. But if they're in here, I'm going to play with them. And if Teferi didn't have his like static, he just bounced stuff and drew cards, he'd probably be okay. It's just the fact that he like stops your opponent from playing Magic while being like a Man of War that draws cards and can keep doing that forever is... It's pretty good. Um, anyway, we're going to take him because he's great. I do love Flooded Strand. you got to take Fixing. I love Dark Confidant. We could have gone Phyrexian Obliterator into Dark Confidant, which would be interesting. This card, two minutes you do First Strike. And for five mana, if he attacks, you can make a 5-5 five, five Red Dragon. And then it can Cascade because the boast abilities cost one less Reach Dragon. Kind of cool. A little bit slow. The other option is Sheldock Isle. Um, this card is also absurd. So, especially in Legacy Cube, which is clunkier than Vintage Cube, this card is quite nice. Uh, the downside is you don't often get enough card draw in Legacy Cube to where this can be activated. So, I think I'm going to take the Flooded Strand, but I could definitely see like either one of those being correct. I just don't know. Um, here we get to Glacial Fortress. I do like Gideon Jura. Liliana the Last Hope is also very good. Compulsive Research, uh, Entomb. If you want to go Reanimator, it's fine. I've... I've drafted it enough, though. I'm trying to avoid that for now. Uh, we're just going to take... Oh, wait. That's Glacial Fortress. That's still fine, I guess. Uh, let's just take a Compulsive Research. You can cast it at instant speed with Teferi. So, you know, it's pretty good. Oh, they brought in Glare of Subduel. That's an interesting one. Um, what am I taking? Literal Core is just fine. Temporal Mastery is also just fine. Um, I like Doomblade. I love Revelark. This might not be the pick for it. I may just speculate on this Doomblade or Languish and go like Asper Control. I'm feeling something like that. I could also also take Anger of the Gods, but I guess I did just pass a Dark Confidant. So if I start passing these cards, there's a chance people pick up on the Confidant. Um, the flip side is people don't like Dark Confidant for some reason, so um, it could just come around and then I end up, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> people don't like Dark Confidant and I don't know why. He's fantastic. Uh, Darkon Shadow Slayer. Yeah, okay. I'll try it. I've never played with this card. I've never really seen this card before, but minus three XL target creature and the ability to just keep surveilling seems good. So we could do that. The Scarab God is also an option. It is a pretty good win condition. Yeah, it's probably better. That's uh, probably better. Power Word, Kill, Field of Rune, Oblivion Ring, Doretti, Spaghetti. Could we be in Grixis instead? I mean, Doretti is really good. Let's be more in Grixis. Or we're just in like 15 color control, which is one of my favorite archetypes. Here we can take Clifftop Retreat, because this sets us up to do a lot of things. Elish Norn's good. I like Elish Norn. Gonti is also interesting. You know what? Let's just take all the fun cards and figure it out later. Sometimes that is a mood, you know? Uh, Tassiger, Sarah's Emissary, bunch of bad cards. We'll take Tassiger. The Obliterator did come around, but so did Oust. And. Staying alive is pretty important. We could take Garrick. Or we we could. I mean, the mana is so bad for this. It's so bad. It's it's not gonna work. What what is happening? <laughs> why is why is the game like this? Who's passing Dark Confidant? I will take it. Liliana the Last Hope and Dark Slick Shores. I mean, it's looking more and more like we're gonna end up in mono black because literally nobody wants to take the black cards. So I, again, like, Phyrexian Obliterator is a, a sweet card. I just think modern card design has kind of made that card obsolete. Because you go through all this trouble to put it in your deck, and at the end of the day, it ends up just 
being a four mana five five and like questing beast Pelucranos exist. I think questing beast might be a four four, but it's like a four mana four four with like fifteen thousand abilities, and it doesn't cost quadruple green. All right, I guess I take a bloodgast. I don't think bloodgast is particularly good in this cube because there's not a whole lot of like ways to capitalize on the sacrifice. Although there's a fiend artisan, but I think you need hero's downfall in this cube. Actually, okay. I might be coming back on my statement about, uh, okay, hold up. <laughs> we got Dothi Voidwalker and him to Torok. Uh, which one do I take first? The Voidwalker is just like a ridiculous magic card. There's also Dismember, but I guess we're in black. So like, I don't think we need that. Probably both are just coming around. I think him to Torok, more people are likely to want to take. So I'm going to take that because the Voidwalker is like slightly reactive or, uh, him to Torok's good in controlling his decks. Like, you might try and splash this in, like, um, Esper Control or something. People might. But you don't really try and splash the Voidwalker if you don't care about the body as well. Um, we could take Marsh Flats and then try and wheel Phyrexian Arena. Or we could just take Phyrexian Arena. Is Grey Merchant in this cube? Because that would be sweet. Um, I guess the question is, do we think we need other colors? It seems like Mono Black is supported, so I'm just going to take the black card here. There's Rankle. Smuggler's Copter, Animate Dead. Uh, I think Smuggler's Copter, Wheel Wrangle. Wrangle's like one of the better cards we could hope for, but Smuggler's Copter is just ridiculous. Here's a Chupacabra. Extinction Event is pretty good. Hide Hollow, Skuller, uh, Vraska if we want to go that route. But we have like no fixing, so <laughs> I think we're just going to take the Chupacabra here. Mind Shatter, Drowned Catacomb. Agadim's Awakening is also interesting. So Drowned Catacomb would let us like do Scarab God stuff, which is a pretty good top end card. And I don't think people are going to take the Awakening or Mind Shatter. Although, is this card even good? I don't love Mind Twist in general. This is worse. And you don't have like Mana Vault of Vintage Cube to like accelerate things. I think I'm going to take Drowned Catacomb. We'll probably get another look at it shortly. Here's Lava Claw Reaches if we think we want to ready. Otherwise, there's Midnight Reaper. Buried Alive. I'm really trying to avoid Reanimator. I just don't enjoy the archetype. This card is pretty medium. It is another 3 drop. It's pretty good with like Bloodgast, I guess. I don't think Skull Clamp is uh, legacy playable though. <laughs> um, it's probably going to come around. I'm just like not even super concerned about any playables because nobody is taking black cards besides me. Scrubland, Nicol Bolas, Casualties of War, Shriek Maw. Uh, I don't really have any, like, oust. I'll just take the Shriek Maw, I don't know. We're just getting- Whoa! Okay, someone talked the Voidwalker! <laughs> what? Alright, I guess I chose wrong. That was like the one black card I cared about wheeling. Someone snipes my Dothy Voidwalker. That's like, actually kind of upsetting. Um, we could take Dismember, we could take Sword of Fire and Ice. We have... Like, some somewhat evasive creatures, Gaunti, Shriek Maw. So it does do something, but I just... The swords are really bad. I think Skyclave Shade, it's unkillable. Yeah, they, like, Rankle comes around, but someone took the Voidwalker. That's weird. It must have just been, like, a hate draft or something. Uh, take Croxa. If I can go, like, black-red, getting Duretti and Croxa would be a huge boost to this deck. Uh, the Scarab God I'm less excited about, but I with all the removal I have, he will be, like, pretty game-ending, too. Uh, Flooded Strand is not really the, uh, <laughs> the fetch land for this deck, though. And I guess Tasker is probably going to get in there. So, yeah, actually, either blue or red as a splash will be helpful. Guess I'll take Buried Alive. Fear of Heliod, sure. Yeah, this is one of the most open I've ever seen a color before. Uh, Dark Ritual? Do I want a Dark Ritual? It's good with Mind Shatter, Phyrexian Arena, Liliana, Rankle... So it's okay. Otherwise, I can take like a Blood Crypt, and that really helps with Crocs and Duretti. Or I can take Verdant Catacombs, and then it makes a future Blood Crypt good. Because this pack is pretty strong, right? Caldra, Goldspan, Frost Titan, all of this. There's a pretty good chance if I take Verdant, that Blood Crypt comes around. I'm going to go for Max Greed here. I don't think I like Dark Ritual. What is this? Whenever a creature you control dies, put a loyalty counter on it. Zero mana, you draw a card, lose one life. Minus three, create two spider tokens with menace in reach. And then minus eight, you get an emblem with whenever an opponent is dealt combat damage by one or more creatures you control. 
they just lose eight life. Okay, that's pretty sweet too. Uh, we could take Grim Monolith. That does help with the Mind Shatter, but it's kind of weak overall in our deck. Let's just take Lolf. Card seems interesting. I've never really seen that card before, but I'm into it. Here's a Heartless Axe, just more removal. Sure. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is this? Destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. This is... Well, I guess it kills all planeswalkers. That's fine, actually. Uh, do I want... This kills planeswalkers, so I think I'm going to take it over Malicious Affliction. Also one mana. Wretched Confluence is a sweet one. Uh, definitely down for that. This is... You can draw three cards, you can kill three creatures, or you can get back three creatures, which is good. Oh, Mimic That, though? I do love me a Mimic That. We just have like infinite removal and you just like kill their thing, you mimic that at back and then you just win. That's super tempting. I think I like that. Oh my gosh. We, <laughs> we are in the open lane. So we are so far into the open lane. Bitter Blossom, damn sudden edict. Um, I probably need more strong two drops. How much removal do I have? Heartless Act. Doomblade, Dismember, Blood Chief's Thirst, Bone Shredder, Hero's Downfall, Liliana. Okay, I have a lot of removal. We'll take Bitter Blossom. Plenty of removals. Recurring Nightmare, Opiomancer, and Colgon's Command. Um, as sad as it is, I don't think I have the fixing for red. Probably or blue. So if we just stay mono black, we have certainly enough playables. Our mana will be better. We can run uh, Verdant Catacombs if we want to shuffle, I guess. Right now we have Recurring Nightmare... It's like okay with what we have going on. We have some like blood gas type stuff and we can loop like Bone Treader, Shriek Maw, Gonti, Chupacabra. Yeah, all right, I'll take it. I may not start it in every deck. Wow, Gatekeeper. Ooh, Grafted War Gear. That is also something. But we have Mimic Fat. We don't, we don't need no win conditions. Okay, so people are taking like random black cards. I don't remember what was the card I wanted from this pack. Oh, it was a Blood Crypt. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, we get Kali Toss back. Also Gideon, that's ridiculous. Um, this card's ridiculous. Uh, Skyclave Apparition. I don't know what people are taking, but we are getting all of the stuff. <laughs> if we end up in a creature matchup, this is going to be just... We're just going to annihilate them. We got Dam. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess Malicious Affliction is non-black. As long as we fight a non-black opponent, our deck is insane. If we... Face an opponent who is playing black, then uh, things are more awkward. One of these is good and one of these is bad. Gutterbones goes from your graveyard to your hand for two mana. And Dreadwanderer goes from your graveyard to the battlefield if you have not that many cards in hand. Uh, I think I like Gutterbones more. We're not playing any of these. Sadly, no Doretti Spaghetti. But basically, like, the reason I went for that Gambit with the Blood Crypt is, like, if we get Blood Crypt and uh, Verdant Catacombs, then there's a chance we could splash red. But if we didn't get, like, literally both of them, uh, then I'm probably not able to splash red. And we need to make, like, a bajillion cuts. Uh, probably Gutter Bones. Oddly enough, Doomblade might be, like, the worst here. Because it, it, there are so many things that say, like, not black creature that I just need to make sure I don't have only that. I don't think I'm going to start Recurring Nightmare. I like Lolf. She seems sweet. Especially with um, Bitter Blossom, right? This is not non-token. So I like that. Tassiger is probably pretty good. I can't use the ability. He's okay. Uh, Mind Shatter. I'm going to sideboard in. I already have him to Torok. Buried Alive is bad. And this deck is sweet, by the way. Uh... Shriek Maw is like two. My curve is fairly decent as well. Um, I could get rid of Dam. It's like the slowest removal. Because like Bone Shredder Mimic that is kind of cool. I guess Bone Shredder is pretty weak. Because Dam kills anything. And we just had 17 swamps. Oh, this is beautiful. This is... I love Mono Black. I kind of wish I had Phyrexian Obliterator, but honestly, it's just worse than all of my other four drops. So, you know, it is what it is. See you guys around one. All right, we're playing against Bouncy Boy. Quite the name. So everyone, good luck, have fun. And uh, we get to go first, which is good for this deck. Oh, look, we have good mana. I will keep this. 
Let's just hope we don't see a swamp from the opponent, because we have Malicious Affliction and Shriek Maw in hand. So it's going to be... Okay, that's good. Uh, Burn is a little bit awkward, but we just have, like, infinite removal. They said you too. <gasps> I'm going to give him the open smiley face. All right, here's what's going to happen. Turn two, him to Torok, the burn deck. We hit Chandra, Accolade of Flame. Ooh, that's a good one to get rid of in Mountain. Next turn, we can play Gatekeeper of Malakir with Kicker. And then we can set up for Evoke Shriek Maw Malicious Affliction to like snipe whatever creatures they have left potentially. Um, the question is, do we cut Dark Confidant versus Mono Red? Probably? Okay, that's enough lands cast with Kicker. You sacrifice a creature. I might not get the, the full Tron of Malicious Affliction, but we'll see. We would need them to have like three creatures. Oh, actually that will work, right? So I, I take this hit, then I evoke Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw is going to kill Annex. That's going to give them a token. Then Malicious Affliction kills both tokens. And then I have Dark Confidant. Okay. Cast with Evoke. This one kills Annex. And then I Malicious Affliction both of these. Yes, copy, target the Seder. Hit you for two. They have two cards in hand. We have a Dark Confidant. That was still a two for two. Ooh, just hard cast Bone Crusher. You love to see it. Um, yeah, let's play Lolf and make some spiders. Or I can draw a card and lose one life. If I make some spiders, they can bolt her. I think it's her. I don't even know. It's hard to tell. This looks like the, um, any of you who played Dark Souls 1, it reminds me of, well, first of all, Quayleg. But then also when you go to like the, the fire keeper behind that hidden door, kind of like Quayleg's sister or whatever. I don't know the Dark Souls lore. People are going to yell at me, but you know what I mean. Uh, I think two spiders is probably good. Then if they want to bolt Lolf, like, then I get to keep my Dark Confidant, and then the spiders keep my life total high. Okay, I'm fine with that, although the Horde is kind of problematic. It makes it so that they have to, like, main phase everything. I'm fine with this. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Um, let's zero here, draw a card. Pretty good as well. Um, so let's attack with the gatekeeper. We're going to go Liliana Dark Confidant, and I kind of want to keep back both spiders. So let's just attack with gatekeeper, and then we can um, uptake Liliana to finish off the Bone Crusher Giant if they block there. The reason for this attack over the Menace Reach is this is the only one they actually can block. We do get a loyalty counter as well, which matters. Do this. Oh, I could also get back a Gatekeeper next turn if I want to, which seems good. Okay, this deck is sweet. I'm enjoying all of this. All right, Bouncy Boy, what do you got for us? They discard Goblin Guide. They get Sulfuric Vortex Young Pyromancer. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a rough... Do you cast it? I guess they do. I guess they do. If I flip like a five drop off Dark Confidant, there's a chance I could lose here, but I could even Liliana my own Dark Confidant if I need to. So let's Liliana... Do I Liliana uptick or do I just get a Shriek Maw because it goes the hardest? I think I just get a Shriek Maw because I need to kill them quickly. Uh, actually, I could play Skyclave Shade if I just get back Chupacabra. I guess Gatekeeper's even better. Cast with Kicker. You sacrifice. Do I want to draw? Yeah, you know what? Uh, they could hit like double burn and that is a way for me to lose. I think I just leave Walt as she is. Um, I don't think I was supposed to cast uh, or play the land because Skyclave Shade. They go to 10, so they die next turn. Yeah, if I like zero Lolf, I go down to 12, which is like oddly divisible by things. They hit double mountain. Yikes. <laughs> um, they could be hoping that I'm playing an 11 drop in my deck, which honestly, if you know me, is not unreasonable. But it's all land. Ooh, Mimic Fat. I love that one. Um, what's it swing out? I think they die. Okay. All right. Playing against red, we're bringing in Doomblade. I think I like Tassiger because of the booty. Uh, probably not going to play Phyrexian Arena. Dark Confidant is still interesting because it can block. 
Although, maybe Bone Shredder is better. This is kind of messed up how much removal I have. I could get rid of like a Blood Ghast. I feel like Dark Confidant has to be better than Skyclave Shade. And I don't love Mind Shatter because they're going to empty their hand fairly quickly. But my deck is just all removal and then Mimic Fat for the win. Do I have any way to kill the Horn if they get it in play? No. If I had Doretti, I could. I have like just a Lava Claw reaches, but Doretti is also insane against them. Uh. I think we're fine. Well, there's the Mimic Fat, so... Look at- oh my gosh, turn 1 removal, turn 2 removal, turn 3 removal, turn 4 removal. <laughs> oh, what a deck. What a deck of magic cards. Doomblade, perfect. And then they play a Planeswalker, and then we just... scream. <laughs> uh, okay, there's the Swamp. So I'm gonna try and wait to play removal until I can get down the Mimic Fat. I am a little bit scared of the Goblin Crater Maker, though. I don't know, maybe I'm being too reactive here. Whenever he's targeted by a spell. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that. I take two. I get to go Mimic that. I do just die, currently, to what they have going on. Alright, we need to be more proactive. Vortex is a messed up magic card. But if they just play the Bone Crusher, then we're in good shape, actually. The, oh, okay. Um, so they hit me for one, and I can't Gatekeeper. Okay, I take some damage. <laughs> you know, I was excited about this like 10 seconds ago, but now I am in deep terror. So we get a Bone Shredder, kill the Goblin Rabble Master, exile it, yes. Last turn. And it, this gives haste, right? Yeah. They take damage. We can block the Goblin with the Bone Shredder. And I, could, I just have Bone Shredder every turn now, which is pretty good. They should not attack here, but I will block. Uh, do I want Bone Shredder or do I want Goblin Rabble Master? He attacks for four. I think the answer is no, because my, like, my hand is full of removal. And then if they pass with mana up, I get to do that. If they don't, they just cast him. I get to Gatekeeper of Malakur. I go down to 11. Oh, Wolf. All right. Cast with Kicker. You Sacrifice. Uh, do I want him or do I want the Rabble Man? I kind of think Rabble Master, he attacks for three. This guy just attacks for four. Yeah, I like this more. Just start nugging them for four damage every turn. Seems good. Avalanche Rider is killing... Ooh, okay. I mean, that really, really hurts me, but... I'm fine with that. Um, I can block here. We'll get this one. No, I don't want Gatekeeper. Womp. We have to kill Den of the Bugbear. And we have to start damaging them, so we may as well just start sniping their lands every turn. I don't know if I can race this. But if they don't have a play this turn, potentially. Oh yeah, I can definitely race this if they don't have a play. Crater Maker killing Mimic that is fine, if that's what they want to do. I fall down to seven. Packrat is a pretty good clock. Do that. Okay, we could still be in this. They fall down to eight. I'm going to go down to five. I'm going to hit them for two. Hearing Spear in my face. Oh, am I just dead? I might just be dead. Yeah. All right. Game three. So Fearing Vortex turn three is an easy way to beat my deck. I don't have an out to that, so. Um, is there anything where I want to do? Like, Skyclave Shade does attack pretty quickly. Because, like, if I had any creature in play attacking, they were just dead that game. So that's definitely something. I'm also on the play. It's basically Sulfuric Vortex or Bust. Here to Bloodgast. I like Skyclave Shade. And Hassiger is pretty good. Maybe Dismember is the one I don't want. Like, it costs one, but it hurts me a lot. Okay. We got manas. We got removal. We got him to Torok, which can potentially snipe a Sulfuric Vortex. They have Grim Lava Mancer. Okay. Ooh, we have a Rankle. That's very good. All right. Um, right. Let's just do this now for mana's efficiency. Annex and a Braid are two good cards to hit. <coughs> oh my gosh. I tried to pause, but I was recording, 
And there was like a bug kind of flying around. Like a mosquito or something. And I just like watched it in slow motion just go into my mouth. And that was... That was horrendous. I hated every second of that. So they're gonna Lava Mancer my face and then play Sulfuric Vortex end of turn. And then I'm gonna have a Rankle. Which would be pretty good. Yeah, okay. So now let's kill this. I could have played Rankle, but I don't think that works. We take damage. Get you down. Vortex does have a downside. We attack. Uh, do I want to do anything special? Discard a card, lose one life, and draw a card? I think five uh, lands is pretty relevant here, so... I think I'm just going to hit and not trigger any of these. Because now I'm winning the race, they... Well, they need to kill Rankle first. Then I can play Pack Rat and make a token. Okay, they play Avalanche Riders, that's fine. Now I can just play a Pack Rat, I guess. Take some damage. There's another land. Play a Swamp. If they want to keep Avalanche Riders, they have to pay a bunch of mana. Tark. Uh, do I want to make them discard a card? I can make two Menace Spiders. Or... Hmm. This is actually interesting. So I can say each player discards a card, and then just we both discard... I discard my Swamp. Um, and then if they kill my Pack Rat, that's fine. But if I draw if I draw a spell, that's fine. I think I want each player to discard a card. And I'm just gonna discard this swamp. I wanna get rid of their ability to answer both of my creatures. Right? Like if they have double burn, they might be able to kill one. Wow. Okay. Chandra awakened a Ferno. So their hand is good. We know that. They go to ten. They don't pay echo and they draw a card. So whatever their last card in hand is better be good for them. She doesn't do a whole lot. They don't have any spells to flashback, so they can make two 1-1s, one I guess. Okay, that's fine. I mean, honestly, she's so good. She's like a 3-mana 2-2 two, two haste at the worst. I take 2 down to 8. So now, let's make a pack rat. Well, let's attack. Make a pack rat token. Discarding Lolf. We leave them with Chandra. Which might be a bad idea, but I'm going to do each player discards a card. Oh, they killed- oh, we killed Goldspan. Okay. That was amazing. Goldspan would have been, like, basically lethal, I think. So, if they draw a burn spell, they can't really do it. Even with Chandra down tick. Yeah, Rankle's a house. But I think what they could draw, like, Lightning Bolt to my face? Actually, if they drew Lightning Bolt, I would lose. Because they would bolt me down to five. Chandra flashback bolt down to two, and then I lose. Wow, we beat the turn 3 Sulfuric Vortex in Mono Black. See you guys next round. Oh man, this is the deck. We were playing against Sleddies. Our opponent, good luck, have fun. They say you too. Everyone's just so nice. Legacy Cube, it's a place of good people. Uh, this hand is amazing. If we draw a third land. It's also incredibly weak to Daze and Dispel Pierce. But we won't talk about that. See, they just have Ancient Tomb. Nothing scary over there. What does Ancient Tomb actually foretell? Uh, this is not... This feels like it's not the same cube. I don't know what Ancient Tomb does in this cube, and I also don't know what Foretell does. Well, okay, Ancient Tomb is great if you're casting 4 drops, but... I don't know what Foretell does. Cold Steel Heart. Okay. What if I'm playing Burn? They're naming White, and they're playing a Glacial Fortress. Okay, they must just be like, blue white control. There's our land. So they can't daze me. They might be able to, like, I don't know, kill my Dark Confidant. But as long as this resolves, right? So they have to spend mana killing Dark Confidant, and then I get... Oh, no. Uh, Alright, we're dead to mana tithe. No, we're not. Jitae is not a problem. Because we have... Well, it could become a problem. But right now it's not a problem. Next turn we can play Rankle, we can play Heartless Act. I think we will draw Dark Confidant. Yeah, I think we will draw the Confidant. So we can go like Heartless Act, Dark Confidant. I'm a little worried about um, Dark Confidant when they have a Jite, but we'll see what creature this is. Starnheim, oh. Create two 4-4 four, four angels. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, Not entirely sure how I beat that. I think it involves Dark Confidant and then Heartless acting whatever creature they equip the Jite to. 
This is like super weak to removal or uh, counter magic. I don't think there's a ninja. We'll let them attack. They have vigilance. Never mind. There's no reason to do that. Destroy target creature with no counters on it. Okay. This worked out. Now we're going to draw like 15 cards this turn. We take some damage, but our deck's just full of removal. I was hoping, for some reason they have Vigilance, I didn't know that. I was hoping I was going to be able to like sneak in a Rankle hit. Ooh, okay. Goodbye Phyrexian Arena. Minotaurg is pretty awkward. Lolp with uh, Menace and Reach Spider Tokens. Probably just what I want to play. I could Minotaurg their last card in hand and play Liliana, but then they get GT stuff. Yeah, let's do this. Wolf makes spiders. Last turn. And I couldn't uh, fake an attack with Dark Confidant. Non-creature spells cost two more. Okay. Here's where they just play Elish Norn. <laughs> and I just instantly die. They get GT counters. So they get to kill my Dark Confidant, but I will block with the spiders. Double block. There's really no point in single blocking because... They're just going to get GTA counters, and if we do get to kill the angel, that's really good. And now if they follow up with just like a single creature, Rankle should do good things. Ooh, Lolth gives us more spiders. Okay. I'm digging the spider situation. Skyclave Shade. Uh, I guess let's play Rankle and use him to discard. Attack. Block. Combat damage. Each player discards a card. We're going to discard probably just him to Torok. Yeah. Okay, it's just a land. Okay, turn off all the yields. Then we draw. Play land, play Skyclave Shade. I guess I'm supposed to keep him to Torok, but I don't know. Their hand seemed really bad. The Spooder Queen. I'm a big fan. I guess it's a queen, so of course it's a, a lady spider. Okay, they drew something really big. That's scary. Okay, never mind. The absent, my loth, that's fine. So, I think we're gonna loot away this swamp. Let's attack them for six. Is there anybody who can kill them? I don't think so. Each player discards a card, loses one life, and draws a card. Actually, in that order. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I get to cast that with Kicker now, so that's pretty good, I guess. Then I'm probably gonna just do nothing, right? Then we can go, um, I don't even really, let's see, if I cast this with Kicker, it becomes a 5 power that doesn't even really do a whole lot. So let's play the Swamp, play this, without Kicker, then just get down Liliana. And I kind of want to get back Dark Confidant. No, let's just uptick. Because now I have Lethal in play, they need to top deck something, like a Wrath. And then if they do, I have Liliana, they die here. Okay. Ooh, that was quite the battle. So we're playing against Control. I feel like Mind Shatter is probably decent. It's a bit awkward, right? Like, I can't... It's so bad. <laughs> it's just really slow. Um, and then I don't want as much removal because... Well, I guess it's probably better than removal. So I could do that over, like, a... Well, I don't know. They had Jite, so they probably have creatures. I think I'm going to play... Mind Shatter over Dan. I could bring in some of the cheaper dudes, but I like hard lose to Jite if I do that. No, I think I'd rather keep the recursive threats like Blood Gas and stuff. Well, this hand could be terrible, it could be good, we'll find out. I really didn't see a whole lot from their deck, so I don't really know. Ooh. I will see what they're doing, whether or not I play Blood Gas first. If they just pass with two mana up, I'm definitely just casting Blood Gast into like a mana leak. If they foretell a card, probably casting Dark Confidant. Old Steel Heart, naming blue. Yeah, we're gonna cast the Confidant. Double blue makes me think they have some type of counter magic or something. Okay, chase the Mind Sculptor. Pretty good card, historically. Um, they can bounce Dark Confidant. That's okay, I think. That kind of disrupts our flow. I think we just have to Heroes Downfall it. I have, I don't know, maybe that was wrong, because I have Rankle, which can just snipe it next turn. And if I just recast Dark Confidant, there's not a whole lot they can do. Okay, they're going to make some Angels. 
can't play GTA. All right. Back to the, the same old, same old. Um, I guess we can go wrinkle, make them discard. I have removal for the angel, so getting lands or stuff out of their hand is pretty good. Each player discards a card. We get to discard Bloodgast, which is just like better than casting it. They discard Oust? Wow, their hand must be good. Next turn, I think I can play out my entire hand. Which will be great, because then I can Wrinkle, discard, then draw. Depending on what they do. Wrinkle is a messed up magic card, I love it. Banishing like the Wrinkle, okay. Well, we still get to keep Dark Confidant. So let's go Confidant, Swamp, get back Bloodgast, pass turn. Gta looking pretty good against my board. But I think they need a fifth land to make two angels. Yeah. And now I'm just going to kill both of them. Yes. Do I just do it right now or do I wait for them to equip? Probably... I kill one now. I'm just going to use the full dismember here. And then based on what I draw, I can decide. Because I have like Bone Shredder and stuff. Chupacabra is pretty good. Drew Lolth. So I did miss out a little bit by not Heartless Acting at end of turn, but I just really want to have Heartless Act up so that I don't get GTA'd. Okay. Yeah, like this, right? If they have a creature, they Temporal Mastery, play the creature, then equip an attack. I'm going to be very happy I have Heartless Act. Pretty good draw. Ugh. All right, Heartless Act is now a dead draw. They can like bounce, yeah, okay. And this is why Teferi could be cool, but the fact that I cannot play Heartless Act from this card that draws cards is ridiculous. It still probably isn't gonna matter, but like, it's, it's, it's too much. <laughs> Mana War, okay. It's, yeah, it's actually funny comparing these two designs, right? This one bounces, which is pretty good. But it doesn't draw them a card, and I can still play my spells. Equip GTA to Mana War. Okay, so I have to wait to Heartless Act. But then we can kill Teferi. They have one card in hand. I think we are. Ooh, that's pretty good. Kind of like that one. You sacrifice a creature. Let's attack and kill Teferi. And then play Dark Confidant. I love Dark Confidant. I can't believe he went. He was like 13th pick or something. Oh, they have the Wrath? Okay. Both is a pretty good way to recover from Wrath, though. It would have been good to have him play before Wrath, but you know, whatever. They have Ancient Tomb, no cards in hand. Acceptable. One, two, three, four, five. Play her. Make. Oh, let's just start drawing cards. Yeah. Yeah. Drawing cards is fun. Bloodgast. Now we can Liliana. Get back Rankle. Where's Rankle? Oh, Rankle's gone. All right, let's get back Pack Rat then. Right, Rankle's under the Banishing Light. Okay, play Pack Rat. Uh, let's draw a card, I guess. Oh, Mimic Vet, not so good against this opponent. In fact, probably should have sided that one out. But this is a pretty good board state. They draw another Wrath. Okay, Lyra Dawnbringer's fine. She just dies. She would have been good. Like, that could have potentially stabilized her. They didn't even want to equip Jite. Discard Mimic that. Heartless Act. Destroy her. Um, can I kill them? I think they are just dead, right? I draw a card here. Discard to Pack Rat. Discard to Pack Rat. That's 10 damage exactly. Ooh, what a beautiful deck. You love to see it. You love to see it. Well, I started out pretty scary. GG's was not meant to be. GG's. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed your other message. It was definitely not meant to be. They kind of got sniped. But my deck is disgusting. See you guys in the finals. Oh, we were playing against Respect the Cat in the finals. You should respect the cat. Oof. I'm on the play. I'm going to keep this. Against some decks, this is going to be very good. Hey, I'm finally paired against you. I'm giving them the smiley face. Watch your vids for ages. I love it. Told them I loved their username. They kept seven. I hope they're not like burn. <laughs> I hope they're some type of mid range esque. And I draw a, uh, I guess I should say also am recording. Uh, I, I hope they're on like mid range esque. I get to play Mimic Vet and then I draw like Gatekeeper of Malakir to hit 
something clunky that they play. Mutavolt makes me think they're more aggressive, but Liliana is pretty good in that case, and I do draw Dismember, so everything is going well. Okay, and it's not black. And they don't have a thing? Okay. You love to see it. Um, Liliana would be sweet to get down, but then she takes a Mutavolt hit. Let's just play Mimic Vat. This card just makes the late game absurd if they don't have a way to kill it. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. But now I get to play Liliana and then dismember the Mutavolt, which will be nice. Come on! <laughs> Why am I playing the worst matchup twice? Alright, um, do I even play Liliana now? I think I have to get down Gonti. I have to put some pressure in play. Ooh, Obosh. Obosh? Wow, that deck's sweet. Uh, wait, that's ridiculous. Obosh plus Sulfuric Vortex is disgusting. Uh, what happens to the rest? Rest in the bottom. I think I need this Goblin Rabble Master. Last turn. They take a Vortex hit. Gonti is a good magic card. Yeah, I don't know if I can beat Sulfuric Vortex twice. Like, I beat it from the last of... Oh, no. This is bad. Well... It's not horrendous. We can cast Dam and then play Goblin Rabble Master. But we can only beat so many Flame Tongue Kabus. Kill this. Play land, play the Goblin. Hit them for one. We gotta get ahead somehow. Next turn we can play Liliana, get back Gonti, or hopefully we draw like a Shriek Maw or something. Um, or we can do something like Liliana plus Dismember paying full mana to kill Mutavolt if they hold it back to block the Goblin. They have five cards in hand, though. You even get to rep one Mono Black. Impressive. <laughs> Turns out he's a good Mono Black card. Oh no. Yeah, Stomp is not great. They just attack with Mutavolt. Yeah. Okay. Go down to 12. Just drawing lands. Um, yeah, we're gonna go Liliana down tech because I need to hit something here. Shriek Maw versus Gonti. Or Gonti ver yeah, yeah. Um honestly Gonti might be better. The problem is I know they have a Bone Crusher Giant. So like I need to deal with it. I can play Gonti and block the Bone Crusher. Cause if I get Shriek Maw, maybe they just don't cast Bone Crusher Giant and then I'm in big trouble. I think I'm gonna take this Gonti. Play land, attack for one. We're gonna dismember the Mutavolt. Okay, dismember the mountain, I guess. Wow, their draws have been ridiculous. I don't know if I can beat Koth. Attacking me, yeah, I think I have to kill this. Um, Cause killing their lands does do something. Take two down to 10. This is really, really close. Gatekeeper of Malakir doesn't do anything right now. Play Gaunti. See what's going on there. Double Gaunti feels good. Dismember Hellrider. Uh, Rishidan Port's actually pretty good against them too. Yeah, that's really funny. Um, I don't know what to do here. I probably just want Hellrider. Because that just does like a bajillion damage. And then next turn I can Liliana to get back removal. But Rishidan Port kind of answers almost everything they could have. This is really hard. Port Liliana uptick. They can't attack me with Koth. They play Bone Crusher Giant. I Liliana down tick, grab Shriek Maw. One, two, three. And then I can do other stuff. But I have to kill Koth then, because Koth ultimate also just kills me. I think I take this Hellrider. And then we uptick Liliana. No targets. And I guess we don't attack with Gonti. I just sit back. It's awkward, but I think that's what I do. I don't know. This is really uncharted territory for me, but I'm feeling like Gatekeeper plus drawing a land into like Shriek Maw will be pretty good against them, I hope. And then Hellrider can close out the game and kill their cost like next turn. Plus blocking the mountain with Gonti does like reduce their mana. So I don't know. Maybe this is the correct line. Okay, they make a mountain. Fire Prophecy the Gaunti. Okay. So I need to keep a creature around. And Mutavolt. I don't know if Rishidan Port would have stopped this. 
Right. I, I would be able to tap down the mountain and take two. Uh, so now what? I can hit Koth for four. Can I kill them this turn? If I had just cast Gatekeeper of Malachar, actually I might have been able to. That could have been a mistake. Right, if I play Gatekeeper, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, actually I would have had exactly lethal if I just cast Gatekeeper of Malachar. Um, right now I'm taking six, seven, eight, so I'm dead next turn. So I have to kill them. Um, Hellrider is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can find two other points of damage. It would have to be like a Bloodgast off of Liliana to win. Um, alternatively, I can chump lock this mountain, take two down to eight, fall to six. That feels a bit more promising. Because it would have to be specifically Bloodgast. Uh, nope, Rankle would not actually do it. So, I guess we play Rankle. I need to land so badly. <laughs> yeah, let's play Rankle. Um, I can also just down tick Liliana and see what I hit, because that would be pretty good too. Because her uptick doesn't really do anything. Yeah, let's down tick Liliana. Skyclave Shade is pretty good. Can't block. Oh, I could Gaunti for a land, right? You may look at and cast that card. You can only cast. This is really hard. If they emblem Koth and have a mountain in hand, I die. I guess we're going to get Shriekmaw. Shriekmaw goes to hand. Then we play Rankle. I guess Rankle has to prevent Koth from embleming. I only have one blocker, though. Yeah. Then I just cast Gatekeeper. Yeah, I think I misplayed this game. I go to four, I'm dead to like basically everything. Mutavolt plus burn. But I was dead to Koth ultimate plus mountain, so... If they have nothing, I can win. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, three damage to my face? So I go to three, then they Mutavolt. Yeah, I'm dead. Oof. Okay, I was dead no matter what I did. Um, I think I could have won that game though, if I had played Gatekeeper the turn prior. But... Yeah, just Burn is like our worst possible matchup, so this is going to be hard. I don't know why Doomblade is in the sideboard. GG. Um, better than Dismember for sure. Uh, Tassiger I like because it's proactive. Oh, I like Mind Shatter. Kind of against their deck, yes. I don't like Phyrexian Arena. Mimic Mat is good. They had the Abrade, but it probably would have done good stuff there. Um, Loth, Shriek Maw, Kali Toss. Copter, Malicious Affliction. I'm on the play too. Yo, my throat's all messed up from that mosquito earlier. Not a fan. So, sorry, I'm, I'm finishing this with a crackly voice. Uh, yeah, I think Mind Shatter's bad. I'll just run it like that. I don't know how many turn three Sulfuric Vortexes I can beat, but can't beat any with this hand. This hand's decent. And honestly, this hand could be good against a Vortex, depending on what they have. It could be good or really bad, depending on, you know, how Bitter Blossom ends up being. And no turn one Goblin Guide, please. Ugh. Okay, at least Liliana can snipe that before it becomes too relevant, I think. That's good. Um, I think Bitter Blossom is better than Dark Confidant in this situation. But yeah, my deck is pretty awkward against theirs. They have Rashad in port? Come on. It's a good card. I'm not blaming them. I just... Liliana would be pretty good right now. Okay, we make a uh, Bitter Blossom token. They port that down. That's fine. I'm gonna play the Confidant. I'm not scared. Here's where they just jam Sulfuric Vortex turn 3 and I lose. They said, ouch. Did they miss a land drop finally? Nice. You love to see it. Um, I'll block. Okay, they just have Annex. That's fine. I can make them sacrifice. Please don't reveal... Okay, we reveal a land that's good. So, yes. We will make you sacrifice. A thing. They get a 1-1. One, one. They can't block, so we can attack. I probably would offer the trade with Confidant anyway. But... Now, if they play a Vortex, we are ahead on board, so we could still be in a good position if they do that. Um, I kind of want Dark Confidant to die sooner rather than later, though, because we're taking a lot of damage every turn. They stomp the Gatekeeper, that's fine. I'm taking the damage. Um, I have Liliana to kill this right now, so 
I may as well do it. Come on, Dark Covenant. Okay, I can work with that one. Port me down, it's fine. We get to go Liliana. Kill this. Swing for three. We have all the removal in the world. And I think I'm going to Liliana my Dark Covenant like next turn potentially, although he is part of my clock, so... Immutavolt. Um, I think I have to chump here. Depending on, if they attack my face, I have to chump. Yeah. Gain two life. They do nothing. Okay. They're just hoping that Dark Confidant kills me, maybe? Come on, land. Ugh, that's brutal. Okay. Um, what are we trying to do here? They're just gonna burn me out. I'm dead, I think. Uh... Play Mimic Vat, play Land, Attack, and then we have to like Lily on our own Dark Confidant, put it into the Vat. Yeah, I needed to not hit a Chupacabra there. Right, if they just burn me, untap, burn me, I die. Okay, they port that down, that's fine. They know I have Malicious Affliction, so they could set up a turn where they... Port down my swamp, kill my fairy, and then attack with Mutavolt. I just want to win this one so I can get a game three. Because winning against Burn with Suicide Black is, uh... <laughs> it's challenging, to say the least. Yikes. Okay, Firebolt my face. Flashback, Firebolt puts me to three. Cast him is fine. Because I can kill him without casting a spell. Go to four. So, we are going to... Down tick Liliana. Get a Gatekeeper of Malakir. Cast with Kicker. Kill the Bone Crusher. They could activate Mutavolt, I guess. We'll get the Bone Crusher. Um, I will probably put him into play. I'm down to four. I'm gonna fold a three on my turn. I guess it doesn't matter whether I do it now versus later, so I just attack here. Because they could port me, but I have removal, and I can kill them next turn. Right, this is four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, actually, I can't. Four plus five is nine, and they're at ten. So I guess I have to play Pack Rat. Then I have three blockers. I go to three, and like everything in their deck kills me, but... You gotta present a, a clock. Somewhere. They port my only land. Alright, if you have burn or whatever, I die. Hellrider plus Mutavolt does not kill me, but it does with Firebolt flashback next turn. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't take any of the hits. If they're just playing a defensive Hellrider, though, that's incredible. Okay. Oh, they might just have, like, one damage here. I don't know. Let's block like this. I think Hellrider off Mimic that is a ton of damage. Is it? They're at 10. I guess if they just kill... Let me think about this. Do I have lethal damage right now? I can pack rat twice. That'll be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's nowhere near lethal. So I think I do actually block like this. Let's get Hellrider. They noted that. So I die next turn to Firebolt. They braid. Okay, that makes sense. I think I lose now. Because they have the Firebolt here. One, two. Yeah, the Abrade was pretty brutal. Let's see what we can hit. Gatekeeper, Dark Confidant, Shriek Maw. I don't have any way to exile graveyards. Get back Shriek Maw, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then just hope they don't see it. Discard. Shriek Maw. Discard. Womp. Swing out. We were really close. They just flash back Firebolt and I die if they remember. Yeah, GG's. Sweet deck. I just, uh, yeah, Dark Confidant flipping um, the Chupacabra is what killed me. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to have Dark Confidant or not, but... I think my deck, like, that's about as good as I can hope for in that matchup. I don't know if I messed up a turn somewhere where I could have gotten more damage in play. Um, I know game one I did. I could have killed him game one, I think. But game two, I don't know where I could have done things differently. Basically, they needed the Abrade and they had the Abrade. 
Um, I there was a turn where I could have hit them with mimic that. But like, so even let's say like, because I double block to get rid of two creatures to get rid of their Hellrider. Um, even if I don't double block there, they can just abrade uh, like one of my creatures when I'm attacking. So there's no way for me to really play around abrade in that situation, unfortunately. All right, well, sweet rounds. I love the deck and I will see you guys next time.